part two, you start to see the cracks and you start to see, oh, this is why this person behaves this way, or this is why they say this, or how they act, because you learn more about the, what's happening underneath and more of his personal story. Whereas in part one, you go, wow, this, this, this guy is something, <laughs> right? Hello, my name is Tavon Gamble, and I'm a resident actor here at Trinity Rep, and I'm playing Toby Darling in Matthew Lopez's The Inheritance. My first production here at Trinity was in 2016 in Oklahoma, and since then I've been in quite a few Christmas carols, playing anything from Young Scrooge to Marley to Topper, anything in between, and I've had the opportunity to choreograph the last two stage productions as well. Some other things that they might remember is Ragtime. I also was in Brian McAlooney's adaptation of Charles Dickens' A Tale of Two Cities in 2020. How to describe Toby? Let's see. I do think it depends on who you ask, but I, I think Toby is full of life. He's vibrant, he's energized, he's that person who can just walk into a room and just speak to anyone. But deep down, he's deeply wounded. He doesn't always know how to articulate his feelings. He doesn't know, always have the resources or the tools to even navigate through trauma because he hasn't really been taught how to do that. And because of that, there's a, a shield that he kind of puts up a wall to ultimately just protect himself. And so he's fighting for a life that he feels that is his own, that he deserves, that is owed to him. But that fight is the part that, that really I just love about him. He doesn't have the capacity to look back at the past. He just has to keep moving forward and keep pushing and pushing to try to get to what he feels is a place that he belongs. What has been interesting about doing this play versus others that I've done this is the one that I connect with the most. And, and that goes beyond, you know, my own personal experience of being a part of this community. But a play that takes place between 2015 and 2017, I know that time. I have my own personal experiences and feelings about that time. To be in our process together and, and speak on all of these events that we know so well has been actually interesting, but also just it, it's been helpful actually finding ourselves into this. I also feel a great responsibility in the sense that of representation. Like it really means something that this particular role, how complex it is, and it is in the body of someone who is an African-American black gay man. And I think of myself, of, of, of teens and young adults who are going to see this and see themselves represented on stage. But to see that representation, you know, is something that I wish I had more of when I was that age. So it, it, that part I feel really good about. Part of what I've been taking from Toby's journey in this is there are a lot of people who day to day we think are okay. And there are people who put up the mask of everything's fine, life is great. But deep down, there's really something stirring and that there might be a cry for help and they don't know exactly how to ask or to be able to articulate those feelings. You know, so often I think we remove ourselves from situations or we go, I think there might be an issue or something wrong, but I don't want to step in and lean in. That's what I've taken away from this and I hope audiences as well of being more mindful of being open and listening and, and, and helping people even if someone is telling you that they're 100% okay. Tickets are on sale right now at trinityrep.com slash inheritance.